Why, hello everybody, my name is Shretex and welcome back to Terminator Dark Fate Defiance. And guys, I can say this with confidence now, this is actually the last episode. It's going to be a long one, but it's definitely the last episode. So I actually cut this originally halfway through my mission I was playing yesterday, so I wasn't expecting to start a video from this point on. But we will start off by killing this gigantic robot on the screen right now, and it's going to be glorious. Now I will say I enjoyed this game. Maybe not so much at the end of this mission, but I definitely enjoyed it overall. But I said, in the mission as well, I do go through my thoughts on the game and whatnot, and we wrap up the whole series. So, apart from that, guys, hope you're strapped in for a long video. A very stressful ride, but we get there in the end. <laughs> Let's get going, shall we? Okay, guys, so I'm coming back from the future here because I realize there's actually an instant game over event with this mission, which you require hindsight, unfortunately, uh, which is what most of this game is in a nutshell. <laughs> Requires hindsight. Now, uh, I'm going to get rid of my guys ready for the hindsight phase. We get everyone moving around. This thing's a monster, by the way. It's pretty damn awesome. I, I do like it. Well, apart from the instant pop death, which you can't do anything about to even defend yourselves. But apart from that, it's a pretty fun boss fight. Now, uh... What we can do, grab people, we'll bring the artillery for it. I think it's possible to kill it, by the way, without having to do the uh, thing, which you'll see very shortly, but I, we'll give it a shot anyway. So first things first, you guys need to move up. When you go over here, there is a AA over here, and also an artillery, it needs to get killed. You guys need to retreat back down this way, and you need to go and join this, the main front line. But you've got no tow launchers, so that's a bit of a problem. It's so big. And very loud. It can instant pop everything it comes across. It's pretty awesome. Everyone move up. So there's actually an artillery here. The first time I played, it killed itself. Uh, but it hasn't happened the second time. So I had to go and physically go and kill it, unfortunately. Now, have you guys got attached? Okay, good, good, good. Return up this way. And just drop the artillery closer to the front line. This is mostly just so that we can just get some long range fire on these enemies here. In fact, both of you go where I just point there, because uh, the other police might get spawned on by enemies. So. Do I have more tanks somewhere? What a Bradley. Oh, we, need, we need tanks. Or something that has a way, way of destroying vehicles. Move up, guys, move up. Oh, where's it going? Oh, God, that didn't happen last time. That's bad. That's a problem for the future. Yay! Good stuff, guys. Get ready for phase two. support for the main force permission granted church but you screw this up and i'll be wanting your head when this is all over understood okay we gotta kill this thing somehow oh it's the high mars who's it killing everything <laughs> everyone's died so unfortunately it's gonna be a bit hard uh compared to last time because it's moved to a different position nothing on the ground that can scratch it take out that air defense let our air support come in and deal with it okay now we've got a plan I'm actually really upset. So the first time I did this, I might show it on video if I had the record for it. I had two squads and I went like this with both tank squads and we wiped out all the AA and then I was instant geared by a high mass strike. So that was really fun until I lost, that is, but still. Okay, where's all my Bradleys? Everyone needs to get ammo. I'm still thinking that I can probably kill it with just my own units as well, but I might be wrong there. There's nothing I can do about the high mass, but they're going to hit me regardless, so... It's moving to the AA. This did not happen last time. This is actually a bit of a disaster, to be honest. It's so close. It has, like, every weapon in the game. You guys are dead. It's 
These containers are blocking shots. I didn't realise that last time. Oh, that's going to kill it. Oh, <laughs> the GPU! <laughs> Cover, 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 cover. Ooh, ho, ho. Keep going. It goes to whatever's closest. Draw it away. Draw it away. Hell yeah, man. This is way better than last time. Oh, it's changed target. It has changed target. No! What? That was bullshit! Oh well. It shot all through the containers that time. I see how things are. Okay, you changed the target though. It's, it's not over yet. It's just temporarily bad. You're fine, Bumblebee. You're fine. Okay, have we got everyone ready? I want to do the big tow launching at some point. Are you guys not deployed? I don't think they deployed. I think I did do it in a weird way. Well, they're not in range. That's probably the problem here. So... So... Shooting my own high miles. Weirdly, my allies weren't instant gift this time, so it gives me a little bit more time to go and uh, mess around with this. Gonna shoot down our air support. Never do that. Heck. Shush. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I did that. Anyway, moving on. Um, I need to bring it back this way if I can. Uh, my friend is still hurt. You just retreat me at this point. You keep going through. Good, 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 good. Bob, turn around. <laughs> In. This is a death trap if you get caught over here. It's, it's not going to work very well. Bob can probably take some uh, distract the enemy a little bit. Or I say Bob, I also mean Pagan One, who is way less important to me. <laughs> if you miss this shot. Oh no! Oh no! It's down to the last shot! <laughs> Oh god, you missed the last shot! It's fine, I've got two tanks here, it's not a problem. But then what if that tank misses? Pull back. Okay, start firing. Uh, high mark. Do a thing. You not even fire with your coaxel? Do I even have a coaxel gun? No. Yay! Get him. All AA is oh, he's doing his thing. Okay, what do we do now? I haven't got this far. You guys probably want to repair over here. C4 reporting. Enemy air defenses eliminated. Rangers command here. I'm assigning a chopper with two Ranger squads to your command. Use them to guide in the airstrike. This is Steel Falcon. Ready to hit that thing. Ah, cool. Where is it? Run away, Pagan! My tanks! Keep running! So where is my new thing? It's not you. So that thing hasn't got AA? Is that what they're telling me? I'm surprised. I'm not seeing a uh, helicopter. Oh, there he is. Black Hawk Kelly. Any tanks free for us? This is where it gets instant gift by the random <laughs> guys. Did my guy fire then? I'm not sure. No, he hasn't fired. I want to see it though. What is happening? Oh, they can run across, can they? Yes. I think, probably. <gasps> Do they need to repel down? Keep on advancing. Remember, the 
You guys will be heroes. Rangers report. Rangers lead the way. Affirmative. So this means we have to kill it of our own means. I thought the game was going to spawn in like a, some kind of super death event or something. So this does change things a little bit. I reckon I can still kill it myself. The chance of me getting close enough to tag the enemy properly is pretty much nil. Unless we have so many toe launch at the same time. <laughs> yeah, toe launching! Oh, good. Go, my scouts. Find the enemy for me. We're not in range. Uh, D deploy. I'm gonna blow it up with artillery. That's how I normally played this game anyway. Enemy spotted. Okay, hi Mar. You ready? Toe launcher range. I more Bradleys in this. I got six. I got six Bradleys. All Bradleys appear. Well, I'm so confused. Okay, I don't work out right well. Go hide behind the, hide behind the building, everybody. It didn't care. Rangers didn't here. care. Oh, what? No! But it didn't kill... It didn't block this, though. So it's not that bad. Wait, do you reckon I can just spin around it with a tank? I might try that as well. Oh, it damaged all this stuff as well. Well, that was very close to instant getting it me then. Where were the tanks at? Okay, Bob's there. I reckon I can micromanage kill it with tanks. I mean, I had to try, right? Although, we, I didn't seem to have as many tanks as I used to have before. Okay, these two are miles away. Okay, we'll try and bring them back. So that's one, two, three. Four. Tank unit awaiting orders. Let's blow something up. Go for boss. I've lost tanks at some point. Hey, you go. Oh, that one's out. No, that's why I was really confused for a second there. This tracking's really slow. We can definitely do this. That wasn't gonna work, was it? Chassis damage? He's a hero. What's the range of this? Move, move, move! Uh, uh oh. Run! 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 Get out of there! We're killing it! We're doing it! What do you reckon? Bomb? Buildings and other stationary targets? Or guided missiles? I reckon bombs, personally. Do you know what we can... Oh my god, I just have an idea as well. Yes, sir. Omega One, get closer! We're doing a thing! We're doing a bit! We need more tanks here! Bring the tanks up! Yeah, yeah! This is what I was imagining earlier. These airstrikes are going to be useless unless, uh... Everyone come over this way. We're going to stick behind the enemy. We're just going to spin around it like a annoying bee. It spins so fast! I was wrong! I was wrong! <laughs> no! No, I thought it was going to be slow! 
Get into the cover! What are you doing? Just stop moving, stop moving. Oh. Yes, sir. Go, go, go! Get closer, get closer! C4 it! You part the C4! The tank plan is not working. They're doing the things differently than I thought. Bomb! Oh. Oh, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Plot the C4! No! Yay! <laughs> we did it! Ah, oh, wow. A shame about that squad dying, though. We did it. That thing's destroyed. Now clear anything else out of the area and get one of my data vehicles in there. That's an order, church. I have no respect for you. Destroy the prototype before it destroys too many allies. Yeah, I did that. That was me. Okay, so I'm bringing these guys in, right? What if this is not the end of the game? Oh, God, be careful, be careful. I didn't even deploy it, it disappeared. Like magic. Everyone's out of position right now, which is a bit awkward. Um, this guy's near death. I have broken artillery. I've got a man, a cursed man. Wait, can we get like a Braddy over here? Uh, let's redeploy you over here. I'm not gonna do much. I'm just gonna see if the game is at the end, and then uh, if, if I need more, I do more. Two minutes. This might be a hindsight thing. <laughs> we'll see what happens in a second. Uh, are they going to deploy from every corner? This is why I had the Bradley set up everywhere so they can instant give incoming enemies, which I've now moved out the way. Uh oh. Hindsight. I am seeing in 2020 vision right now. Actually, not right now. I haven't done it yet. I have to do it before. So, clear, clear. There's so many in ingress points. Oh, God. There's no way they can spawn here, right? This is just, uh... Everyone move down the other way. Everyone get over this way. We will win here today. None shall pass. I have my Bradley here. This would have been fine. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no! If only I knew. Yay! Oh! Bumblebee! Oh no! Be careful, be careful. Everyone be careful. <gasps> Not again! <laughs> it's happening again! Oh wait, it's fine. Everyone deploy. Facing forward. Everyone face towards the enemy spawn points. Everyone prepare to blow up enemies coming into the mission. Everyone prepare to become victorious. What is your damage, my friend? I don't know. Cannot fire. Well, that's really bad. Um, you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, what? They came from behind. Oh, God, my new thing. <gasps> well, there goes that. It's fine. This is the end. This is the end. It's, it's ending. We're ending it. Oh, there's no defenses there now. Hopefully those random tanks I left behind, uh, the allied tanks will kill them. Oh no, there's so many of them. I didn't think it'd be this bad. Okay, well, uh, <clears throat> ah, ooh, ah, ooh, e, ah, ooh. Uh oh. Oh no. 
Not in this game. They're going to instant give the transport somehow. That's it. Factory security system disabled. Get those engineers in there. I want everything they can get about that augmented human soldier technology. Sir, not much time before that large reinforcement wave gets here. Hear that, Church? Hurry it up! Sir, if we send in the engineers to collect the tech samples, we'll lose any time we have left to destroy the factory. I'm prepared to risk that, oh. as long as we get that technology for ourselves. But with the factory still intact, Legion won't be able to mass-produce those new infiltrator units. We know about them now. We'll find ways to stop them infiltrating our ranks. But the other survivor groups, sir? What about them? We would need to warn them about the existence of these things and how to spot them. You're out of line, Lieutenant. Founders don't share intel with outside groups, especially civilian militias. Whatever the further cost of this operation, it's worth it to get that new technology. Now get it done. I gotta get engineers back over here again. Uh, okay. Stop already. Um, I need myself an engineer. What are the orders, sir? Going. Here. Rangers, are Rangers ahead. Oh, there's engineers over here as well. Oh, wait. Oh, this is a way better way of doing things. Go over there. Yes, sir. Not sure what it was you guys, though. I think you guys are kind of doomed, to be honest. Okay, so we need to get everybody away. So I do, I learned some things. This guy here need to specifically reach engineers on route. the point. Simple as that. There's no... Uh, different engineers do not work, so I did waste some time yeah. sending this guy over there in a second ago, but it's okay. I'm also going to here. retreat all units. Every single one of them. Uh, all my units need to get out of here and get down to this part of the map here. There's actually no reason to hold this place, and it gets extremely hostile very quickly, so we want to make sure everyone's getting the hell out of there. Uh, everyone that needs to repair, repair now. And then we're going to do a mass retreat. Ready to go, sir. Most of these units are completely ineffective anyway, to be honest, in combat. Uh, they've taken too many hits, unfortunately. Uh, you guys load up those fellas. I think these are the only ones I can load up anyway, to be honest. Everything else is kind of just nearby. Run away, everybody, run away! I do need to send two tanks, so maybe a Bradley as well. I'll send a... not you. Not you. Bumblebee? Why can't you fire still? One crew member! Oh! Well, that's unfortunate. Nothing I can really do about that. <laughs> He's kind of just useless now for the rest of the mission. I get... Oh, wait! What, what we can do? we we'll pull you guys back, and we can replace you with Finch. There you go. That'll solve that. Okay, so when you get two tanks, I should have weapons. So... You... Which I'll put into the control group. You. Let's blow something up. Not Big Bob. No, Big Bob should go. You two. And you. What do you need? Get over here and guard this point. Everyone else, we're retreating. Let's move. Reporting. On route. We're leaving. To a better place, everybody. Stop We're leaving to a better place. Everyone needs to get the hell out of there and get a hell over here. Copy that. Oh, that's my tank. He's still alive. I didn't know that was still there. I thought he died or something. He's still out hanging out many, many moons away. Oh, that's unfortunate timing. As most things in my life are, that is just unfortunate timing. That was uh, brilliant, excellent. Oh, that might help. Stop fire! Oh, it's going to be a lot of death in a second. Why can't we hurt them? What are they made out of? Okay, we're fine. <laughs> wow, that was close. Uh... Run away! Okay, I think I'm pretty much ready to go. Oh, we're going to give it a shot. Okay, I think I'm pretty much ready to start this off. Reporting. See if I've got enough units way. instead of just setting everything up right now. Uh, you guys get into the building. Just start things going. The Observe. surviving... The engineers are collecting the tech samples and the data you wanted from the factory. Good work, son. You're a real founder. Never doubted it. Sure. Forward units of that huge reinforcement wave now arriving in the area. 
Hold your position, Church. I'm giving you command of all our forces in there. No pulling out until I've got everything we went in there for. Yes, sir. I won't let you down. Okay, now we've got a timer. All remaining allies come to me, which is good. I think what we do... We'll try and move them all up to this defense line in case they need more backup. If they can even make it, I can't say, but they can at least give it a shot, right? Uh, engineers, guys on the floor, they can actually go around this way, so I'll just make them go up and around. This guy might be done for, though. Oh, no, he's, he's okay. I don't know what spawned in now, though. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, I didn't count for air defense. And they got rev sixes. That's going to be unfortunate in a second. Uh, you fly. Oh, we have a... Oh, my God. Look at this. It's too late, but I can deploy him for next time. Oh, I was going to spin around. I thought they were going to land behind me. Oh, wow. What a badass. I clapped, yes. Um, that was awesome. I like that. Cool. So, they're moving in anyway. Uh, these guys need to pull back with the random trucks in the middle of nowhere. They're not in good places. I'm not going wise. This is a complete cluster. This is absolutely chaotic right here. Uh, can you go and deploy over there as well? Yes, okay, here they come. Okay, you can land again, I'm pretty We're certain. And what I'll do, I will deploy these guys around the back, and they can just shoot any more helicopters that come around with their javelins. Although I've yet to see that happen, but you never know, it might work out today. Okay, these are my new units as well. Pull back. H. Okay, there's a lot of. Hmm. Oh, too many. The game's literally lagging out. There's too many units. Uh -oh. Guys, stop getting stuck on the terrain. Get over there. There's no ammo over here. That's going to be one of our biggest problems. Um, I did get guys with ammo. But oh my god! Oh my god! A lot of doggos. Well, what do you expect me to say? You guys got stuck on the building. Keep moving. We've got 23 seconds. I don't know what happens after this, by the way. This is my first time doing this bit, so I really have no idea. Um, all I know is that I just I quickly stopped because I got spawned everywhere, and I was like, it's too late to move any units behind. So I thought I'd give myself the chance to move them earlier, which I have. I presume I have to go up as well and um, try and get this truck somewhere still at some point. We've got it. Data and tech samples collected. We're ready for extraction, sir. The exit leaders are the priority. Get them out of there, sir. Oh my god, the exit's where I am? That's cool. Wait, no one's on that, are they? Oh god. Don't screw me over here. Oh, it's the most squidgy thing in the universe. Oh no, he's dead. Okay, well. <laughs> they did not make it, they did not make it. Get us moving. Oh, a fuel tanker? <laughs> I don't think that was it. Okay, should I try and get them out of here? I don't think they have enough time to spawn in the AA, have they? Let's just give it a shot. Let's see what happens. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> problems with that one. We're going to try a different approach. This should be okay, I think. So the idea behind this one is that the enemy spawns from either side and they wouldn't have enough time to get into the middle of the map. So far, this idea has worked perfectly. The AI is not that intelligent. It literally just um, goes on paths. So they would just be randomly patrolling right now. There's no reason for a Legion tank to be over here. Done. Right, so I think it's done. No! <laughs> My supplies! <laughs> Damn it! Ah, oh, I can't believe it.
Uh, where can I land? This is unfortunate. This is very unfortunate. Oh, 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 I saw it. I'm not going to do anything. I know there's going to be another part of this mission. We have an explosion truck, so it's not going to do something with it. Whoa. Bit scary. I'm not sure I'm going to keep these little guys here. It's looking a bit dodgy. Let's put them back. What the hell? Time to pull out. Church, you and your people are forming the rear guard. Protect the evac. Not an NR site. That's not good. It's just nicked half my defense forces. <laughs> well, um, that's unfortunate. So I took a deep breath and it really hurt my mouth. <laughs> okay. What about this explosion truck, though? Chopper has eyes on him. Got threats ahead. Got trouble. Got a fix on the enemy. Got company. I know how many enemies are here. I don't think we're going to get these guys out of here alive, to be honest. In hindsight, I should have had my defense guys not be here, and should just have the ones that would retreat automatically. One word. That guy's just retreating the wrong way. He's not even going to the right place. <laughs> Big Bob needs to... Big Bob's got no ammo! So the camera angle is really weird here. I'm having a bit of trouble with it. There's no way I'm getting these guys out of here. So I got my tongue stuck out right now. We're doing it. We're doing it. No! Ah, oh, it's over for these guys. I'm so sorry. If only I knew. You can do it, Bob. As long as Bob survives, I don't care what else happens. Bob's getting out of here alive, okay? Go, Bob! Go! He's gonna do it. Big Bob will survive! Oh god, there's enemies! Can you not go this way? Go this way instead, it seems safer. Uh oh. Boop. Uh oh. Oh, that was. Chappie's dead. <laughs> Chappie didn't make it. Okay, I was not expecting. Wow, what do you? Don't touch the. Uh... Oh god, that's on forward. Go, Bob, go! Bob's done it. Bob's done it. It's fine. Take position. I thought that I swear, guys, I swear the game was going to split the spawn point over here. So I'm really happy I can retreat this way. Ready for target. Uh oh, I think he's okay. Evac complete. Good work, Church. Thank you, sir. Where are the evac transports for me and my force? They aren't any, son. They're all gone. You and your force did a hell of a job, though. I salute you. Found it for Dallas. Hey, sir, we followed all your orders. You can't do this to us. 
What? He what just is... left us to die. What's wrong with this guy? My ass. I always knew I wouldn't survive the end of this war. But not like this. Betrayed by our own. But why? Tech Command. Know how we can destroy the factory? Two entrances next to you. One leads to a production bay with all the augmented tech samples, the other to the cooling system under the dam. Legion needs a lot of water pumped through it to stop the factory systems overheating. Blowing up the dam will flood the whole place with water. It'll take years for them to start up production somewhere else. So, what do you want to do, Lieutenant? We have to destroy the fa factory. No! No. Why? Okay. Are they gonna okay. instant die? Too many survivor lives depended on it. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> I wanted this thing over already. It's still going. What the hell? Well, let's carry on, guys. Let's carry on. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm so sad right now. Great. Sergeant Mason holding it down over here. Why is there still a... Oh, it's my friendly tank. Which I can't see to control. It just does whatever it wants. Uh, let's get you guys into this chopper. Although I... Wait, why are we... No, I do two trips. That's all good. If they get killed by someone, I'm going to be so pissed, by the way. I'm going to put it out there. I'm going to be so pissed. Yay! I'm destroyed. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. On my way. Alex, you there? Lucia? Please help me. Where are you? You weren't planning to pull off some big, dumb, dangerous mission without me, were you? So what's the situation, Troublemaker? We're cut off and surrounded by overwhelming enemy forces. We need help fast. Just as well, this high-speed barge I got here has room for you and all your people. I have to evacuate up north, don't I? Got it. And hey, look who else is here. Alex, you didn't think the movement was going to forget all you've done for us. Jessica, you're here too? You help us, we help you. That's how it works. We'll be there. Oh, thank God, I got reinforcements. <laughs> I thought, I was, can you imagine if like, they just killed Church immediately? It just like, immediately what? dies. Oh, it's one of the... Uh, people keep telling me to use these. I never did. It's like a super trailer. Alex, what do you need? But I wish I could have some AI help because I have too many units, guys. <laughs> too many units. Okay, so we've got to push up to the objective. And she says she has a barge. So I'm going to go out and presume the barge is going to dock like here or maybe it's going to be here, isn't it? So how does this work? I say what we do is we i can still exit the mission here guy that's that's a bug don't worry about that i i so we need to bring everything to the top of the map this is going to be the evacuation zone in my opinion and this is going to be the end of the mission thing here so what we do is i'll bring the entire army here and then we'll move up and just cut around a little bit, I think. That might work. I'm gonna go as presumption that I said earlier that the AI has preset patrol paths and they're not gonna be doing anything but like just randomly walking around. If we stick on one side of the map, we probably won't have to fight their entire army. We just have to fight a part of it. That's my current thesis on what we're gonna be doing. Uh, hopefully that works out uh, to see what happens. So let's try and figure out how to get to the top of the map. It's actually a brand new day for me, so I decided to take a bit of a break. Uh, I can't believe this guy's still alive. We're going to probably want to try and push up, but I don't know what kind of enemies we've got to deal with at this point. Are there just horrific amounts of instant pop dudes, or are they just going to continually spawn in? I really can't tell you. Uh, I'm going to probably say the best bet would be to try and connect everybody up into one big army. And then we just push up. So I think I mentioned last night before I stopped playing, I was going to try and push up on the left-hand side. If I just got a free Humvee. Ooh, interesting. I'm not going to take it though, but still, that's still pretty interesting. I would take it if I was playing normally, but as this is going to be the last mission, it doesn't really matter. Good to go. I should have destroyed the factory. Stop already. Now Legion's going to flood the survivor community. Infiltrator units. You made a mistake. 
Doesn't mean you have to die for it. Rockets are ready. Rockets and now you've got a chance to help us deal with these Rockets are ready. I haven't actually made a mistake because I haven't left, so I don't know what he's on about. <laughs> if I ran away, then that's that would be a mistake. Okay, first off, let's make sure all our tanks have themselves some um, additional ammo and whatnot. These guys are good to go. Uh, you're nearly good. It's probably going to be a big old push up to the top of the map. Uh, you guys just stay still for now. I'm not going to mess with them. I don't think they're going to get attacked. I think they're kind of just hanging out. So we'll see what happens. This guy, oh, the guy I've got has got a bazooka. Uh, bazooka. <laughs> Sorry, it's called Bazooka 1. He's got a tow launcher, which is pretty handy. Big Bob, why are you not getting ammo, my friend? No, there's no ammo left. Well, typical. Typical, I guess. Uh, Big Bob is currently not able to go and help us destroy the universe. So what do we want to do then? Let's uh, pack these things up. We need to get everybody out and ready to start moving away from this part of the map. Uh, I, I do presume that the exit point is actually going to be on the top of the map anyway. Uh, next, everything else. Let me, let me just look at all these buttons. What are you doing? I'm creating the Super Infantry Control Group. Control 5. Go there. <laughs> it's going to be the world's largest control group. You've never seen one larger. Okay, have you guys done your thing yet? Okay, perfect. Go and grab those fellas. Um, where's the tow launch jeep? Does it still exist? Yes, he does. Go and pick up that fella there. Oh, I missed somebody. That would have been sad if we got all the way to the exit and then that guy was like, Uh, sir, <laughs> I've been abandoned. Can you help me? <laughs> that would have been awful. Yeah, I'm not being attacked. I feel like this is going to be easier than I think it was going to be yesterday. I, well, I say that, I might be wrong, but I hope that it is actually the case. Okay, everybody start moving up. Uh, I want big old vehicles at the front. Everyone else to stay at the back. We're going to start pushing up like a giant wave of metal and doom upon our enemies. Are you not capable of moving up, my friend? Oh, no! I think it's bugged. We can fix this. This is fine. We can fix this. Wait, what's happening? <laughs> There's a second tank! <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second, there's two of them. I didn't know. I need to get rid of that tank first. Uh, just pop through. Uh, is it got a damaged gun? It hasn't. Uh oh. Well, that's awkward, isn't it? Um, I didn't. I thought that was damage. I'm not going to turn otherwise. I thought that wasn't going to be a problem. <gasps> no. Why is it not dying? What the hell? <laughs> This is pretty much uh, what to be expected at this point in the game. Uh, can we get these guys out of here so we can get these tanks moving, please? Okay, that seems to be working now. I don't know what I do with you, buddy. Everything's being destroyed, and it really shouldn't be being destroyed. There you go, that one's down. Okay, that one as well. You need to heal yourself now. Unfortunately, a lot of... Okay, they are actually seven units, aren't they? Are you guys out of there now? Good, we can ca carry on moving. Okay, uh... We go this way, don't we? Okay, where, where, where are my dudes at? How did you miss this point-blank range? Oh, that's not good. Uh, tow launchers. One tow launch there. Another so launch there. You reverse back. Typical. It's fine. We expect it at this point. It's not a surprise to me anymore. Get back. We're gonna get killed as well. Oh, it's too late. I'm so sorry. Okay, inventory. Start moving this way. Can it kill the super tank? Oh god, it doesn't take damage anymore. It's, it's evolved beyond humanity's means. Uh, I don't really know how to deal with this at this point. I need like another five or six tanks and then we might be able to kill it. Oh, unless we just get... Oh, no arbitrary missile misses. Come on. No, they're all missing. Major Stevens, you're here too. 
Heard what happened between you and Actual. It's a mess. But right now, we need to get you and your people out of here. Yes, sir. You got a plan? Hell with Actual's orders. I've diverted forces to assist in your evac. They're disembarking at the port now. You saved me, Church. Now I'm saving you. Oh, nice. If only, does he have something that can kill a tank? Ooh. Black Horse. Okay, you guys are stayed here for now. Uh, I need to get lucky, guys. Why am I not lucky? Come on. Well, it's not even about lucky. I'm just missing every shot. It's like, I've just got like... I've rolling critical ones over and over again at the moment. And it's not looking very good for me. Um, why am I rolling so many crit ones? Someone save me. We're running, we've literally used seven or eight missiles on this one tank. Oh, thank God. Okay, it's died. Although Matt took some damage, but whatever. Um, okay, we're going to get out of here. Damage. These are all damaged by the same enemy. It's a bit broken, really. They've, I think they've buffed these Legion tanks too much. Well, actually, it would, it would be fine if the missiles hit, but the missiles are so bad. Yeah, everyone ready? Everyone good? I think everyone's good. Okay, we're going to do a thing. Everybody, we're leaving. No, we're not. Fix that first. <laughs> and then we'll leave. Uh, have you got inside? Okay, make sure that's undeployed. This is not a good idea, but I don't want to micromanage everything. I've got too many units. So we're going to just do this. There you go. It should work fine. <laughs> oh my god. Go, everybody! Go! What can possibly go wrong? I have too many units for them all to get killed. Okay, so what's on? we've got some black bullets. There's some troops inside as well. Uh, they got flat. Oh, so they won't get instant pop by AA, in theory. Let's see, they've got 80 gems on them, and they also got a bunch of guns. Ooh, that could be pretty cool. I wonder if these disappear. If I shoot, do you reckon it actually loses some of these missiles? Like, it actually is a physical item. That'd be pretty cool if that is the case. Okay, so I'm not seeing anything so far. It's looking pretty chill. Though there is a danger spawn point thing here, so that might be a problem in a minute. Uh, this guy is just... I don't know what's happening with you, but why are you so far away from everyone else? Uh-oh. Luckily, I haven't got a helicopter over here. Okay, enemies spotted everywhere. Kill it! Burn it with fire! No, the turrets... Movement were just too slow. That was way off. I think you watched Wanted and you're trying to kill the bullet or something. This watch has everyone misses. <laughs> oh, no, we've got a turret. No, 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 okay, we've got it in the end. we got it in the end. It's fine. You're taking a very weird route to get to safety, my friend. What? what? I must have got hit through the building or something. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, I'm going to create a large force of tanks and Bradleys, and they're going to push the way forward. Uh oh. Wow, this truck's pretty unlucky with the spawning enemies on it all the time. It's the cursed supply truck. No matter what happens, enemies will spawn on them. Then return fire, guys. It's not hard. Yes, it is. The, the lack of returning fire on this one squad of enemies is very concerning. There you go, we got it in the end. It's actually worked out great. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> they have not got any help. Uh, you poke up that way. Contact. Want us to take the shot? Luckily they didn't stop the return fire or this they could have killed the Humvee. No, we're fine. Good stuff, everybody. Good stuff. Okay, let's make sure all the tanks have what they need. Are you refueling each other? Oh my god, don't don't do that. So <laughs> this guy was being restocked by the other guy, which isn't really what the plan was gonna be there. Okay, let's get all the tanks prepped and ready to go. Not yet, but we will do it soon. It's going to be a bit dodgy moving up with the entire army because they can spawn from all the edge a bit, so we might get a bit screwed over here. 
Okay, good. I've got a micromanage all the Bradleys, so make sure they're not firing the toes unless I explicitly tell them to, because they are literally the tank killer if they actually land their hits. So I'll quickly de-deploy everybody here. Reporting. We'll make sure they're being Reporting. dragged around if they are neither attachables or repaired. Uh, you guys... Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Um, just go, I guess. This is a ridiculous army I have right here. We're moving up, everybody. Okay, everyone else, you're now going to be control group five, and I'm going to move you as a giant clump of allies. Give us the target. Sniper squad standing by. To simply get to where we need to be. There's also a helicopter as well. A uh, helicopter, you're on a group six. I'll send you up after we clear the way a little bit, because you can get killed by literally anything, so. Why did you not grab this? Grab that. Someone grab that, please. Please, guys, someone do it. It seems to have the ability to do it for some reason. Weird. Uh, what are we fighting? Oh, no, that's not a good start. Okay, uh, stop. Nice, that was brilliant. Okay, there's an enemy vehicle over there. I'm gonna get rid of that. Quickly before it kills the Bradleys. Thank you. Okay, next target. Bradley, you need yourself killed. You've got to return fire. <gasps> down, down. Some inoculi should be okay. It's got a big gun on it. Got it. Fire total launcher. Oh, it's not ready to fire. They're never ready to fire. Maybe they can kill it before it spins around. Nope. God, dead, dead. Rev 6! Everyone stop moving! <laughs> Got it, guys! <laughs> I managed to successfully dispatch the enemy. Okay, it's looking good. We got to the edge of the map. We're nearly at the uh, dock, and then they can't spawn on top of us anymore. Oh! Helicopter. Oh. Is that another red? Yeah, it is, because they instant, like, they instant popping this Bradley. That's unfortunate. Can this fire while moving? Yes. Yes, it can. Okay, looking good, looking good. Okay, uh, everyone, wait here for a little bit, actually. Everyone regroup here. Where are we going? Rangers, Regroup, regroup. Rockets are ready. Setting up a rocket to ready. Quick repair, everybody. Rockets are ready. He'll run again. Ready for target. Okay, are we ready for the final? Rockets are ready. Good to go. On the move. Run over here. On our feet. Everyone move up. Uh, let's see. Tanks move first. Bradley's we'll vanguard at this point. So that's not vanguard, it's the opposite. <laughs> it's fine. Once we get here, we know they can't they can't spawn. So we have like a little defense line and we go and move this uh, truck over to the objective. Not seeing anything yet though. Oh! There are enemies here. 
I want to use these guys as well. Uh, can we, uh... You guys are control group three. I'll use you if I need you. There are enemies around and about in this part of the map, then. Target's inbound! Yeah, one word. We'll blow the hell. Awesome, on the way! Fire? Oh. <laughs> That's started. a fast spider! That guy was rocking it! That was unfortunate. There's a spawn point here. Oh, I didn't think about that. So there is actually a capacity for them to spawn on top of my face. Uh, what if this is the exit? Okay, we just hope that it's over here. This is the place that you can get a giant barge, right? Surely. It must be here. There's a lot of them over here. I was not expecting this. Can we blast them? Enemy spotted. Another one dead. Mother's getting her ass kicked. Mostly because she's just not shooting the enemy vehicles. Can you just spin around or something? Spin around, spin around. Providing aerial support. Like Done. Okay, I think we cleared the docks. The uh, how do we want to deal with this? I'm going to probably bring... Bradley's here. Everyone else behind. Uh, we need to find. Just tell me where to point my we need gun. to find Mason and Every myself. No, that's, don't, I don't want to do that. I want to find you two. Come over here. What are you waiting for? Go. I also need to find the big truck as well. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, uh, tanks move okay. here. Bradley, Everyone else move up as well. Whoa! Oh god, they spawn big squads. Hmm, that's not good. I still think it's fine to hold here, though. We just spawn with a bunch of dudes and instant give anyone that shows up. Dead. Okay. How do I want to set up this defense group? So I think we need to have probably two tanks, two Bradleys for the final objective, as well as escorting this guy. Everyone else just holds and just prepares to attack anything that spawns. That's going to be the general gist of things here. Okay, everyone get ready. Uh, as you guys repair yourselves. I don't know how often they spawn, by the way, so it might be, like, pretty irregular. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, you, you can resupply people. <laughs> okay, who's going to come with me? One, two, three. One, two. You can probably guess who's, who's who, right? <laughs> okay, let's go for the objective then. You guys get ready to jump on. I'm not going to send them over the bridge until I know it's safe, because there could be like some horrific over there. You never know. Okay, so guys, the enemy has artillery everywhere. They also have like a good 20 vehicles on this island. And the helicopters immediately die to anything that comes across them. So I can't use them very often or at all. I want to see if I can maybe get in the fly of the other edge, but we'll see if that works or not. I need to do uh, some changes, I think. I need to just use the Bradleys and stuff to probably wipe out the guys on the other side of the dock. Uh, so I'll move these guys over here. I can also use the artillery as well to shoot over when we actually spot the enemy. The problem's going to be spotting them in the first place, because uh, right now we don't know where they are. Okay, uh, as for the artillery, it kind of just means we're in a bit of trouble, to be honest. Uh, they have a big advantage over us. I'm going to spawn, I'm going to send all these random units 
down to just instant give anything that comes out of that building. We can't stop them from spawning, but we can definitely just stand there and shoot them en masse when they do show up. Okay, all you units, we're just going to stand here in giant blob and instant give anything that comes out of that building. Uh, you guys died, right? Yay. Okay, the artillery's not start shooting us yet, though, so we've got a little bit of time. I think we do like a giant tank rush with Bradley's after we clear out the middle bit. Oh my god, they can fly past? I didn't realize that was a thing. Okay, that's perfect then. Although they got oh, get it, you're about to die. Keep flying, keep flying. Hope there's no one over here. No, we're fine, we're fine. Safe. I wanna see if I can get over here and kill the artillery. They're they're here, 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 and I think there was another one like here. There's a lot of artillery, basically. It can instantly get the truck, which is why I had to reload, because the truck instantly dies and you can't do anything about it. Okay, we're going to do a uh, Valkyrie charge. So, I can kill the artillery of my tanks, but normally, like, half of them die, because the artillery is just busted. Uh, so, I'm going to do a helicopter charge, which doesn't really work that well, because the helicopters die as soon as they realize there's an enemy in them. So if I just glitch it a little bit and get on the edge of the map, I can probably bypass a lot of the enemy, and we can... Perfect. It's done. That one way better than last time. Yeah, so even like, they got flares, but even a... It, they still die to Sam's. <laughs> oh, you're dead, I'm sorry. Oh, he did it! Wow! Actually, when I say Sam's, I think he dies from the actual the spider weapon instead of the Sam itself. You both missed! How is that even physically possible? Sorry. Mm. Uh, the, the missiles need to be buffed or something. Uh, if, if this is real missile hit rates, the, the humanity's doomed. Well, it's <laughs> humanity. Anyone fighting a war, it, they're doomed, everybody. They're doomed. They're, they're basically just not worth using. Them. Yay! Okay, artillery dead. Uh, if you can, retreat, retreat, but I think he's already dead. Oh, no, one of them survived. That was impressive. Okay, now we killed that, we have a little bit more time to actually push forward and not instant give ourselves now. Okay, everybody, so it's been a bit of time. I uh, Between me doing my last checkpoint save, it's been three hours. This last bit of the mission has been absolutely awful. I'm not saying that in a joking way, it's actually been awful. Uh, it's really ruined the fun of this mission for me. <laughs> the enemy spawn rate is way too high, the enemy tanks are too strong, and the enemy keeps spawning in artillery over and over again every like minute or two. So, guys, it's been terrible. <laughs> I have got to the point where I am actually at this part of the base. I think we've got to wait for two minutes, and then we can see the end of the game. Uh, guys, I've been doing this... All day. <laughs> I want to end this mission. Uh, I've only got like an hour before I have to go to bed anyway. So I'm just going to end the game. And that's going to be it. Now, yes, it's working. Thank you. Oh, God, it's been awful. I, I feel like uh, my biggest mistake was going to the new patch. Because I think they tweaked all the armor values and stuff. Because tanks are just invincible now. I, I literally had to shoot one 18 times with total launchers to kill it. It was absolutely crazy. Uh, now, luckily for me, I do have a lot of guys here that I could use to cool down artillery strikes and stuff. I, I had to stop using tactics because the enemy just continually instant spawns in with units. There's no tactics. It's just spamming. It's done. Wait, it just ends the game? Is it done? That's it. Everyone's out. Detonate the charges. Oh, I've done it. It's done. What we did here. Not bad for a bunch of deserters, renegades, and civilians. The founders say they were born out of the disaster of the Atlanta pullback. Well, hopefully, something better is going to come out of what happened here today at Galveston. The Galveston pushback. Like the sound of that. Yeah. The day we all finally came together to show Legion we're not beaten yet. Have we started something here? Some kind of movement? A movement or a part of it. But this feels like something bigger. Everyone coming together. Working together. Resisting together. Right. A resistance. That's what we need to be now. Okay, everybody. So I'm, I think I've...
calmed down a bit from that last mission. I must admit, I was a bit salty anyway, so I'll see what I could put into the video at the end. I ended up not talking for most of it because it took me a good four or five hours to finish that last little bit. And guys, I was so annoyed. <laughs> and I felt like it kind of um, tilt, like changed my view of the game at the end, which I think is a bit of a shame. So I took some time away. I'll come back. The credits are still playing. And I'm going to talk about what helped about, about the game. So of course, at this point, we finished it. It's actually finished. You can see the credits are still rolling. I thought it was a very interesting game. It was definitely a real-time tactic game. Uh, the... I liked it. I, I think the story was uh, good, but there's some confusing parts of it. I, I liked the idea that you were kind of your own thing. You can choose if you want to help like the bandits at the start, help the movement, that kind of thing. I also understood mostly the events of the story. I will say it was a bit weird because I understand the concept of Blair and stuff hating you. That made sense to me. Blair was a traitor at the start, potentially a robot from day one. He, of course, would be out to kill any human he can. And also, even if he wasn't a traitor at that point, he still was a problem because he ran away from combat, was a coward. And if we did a report on him, people would realize that he was, in fact, a traitor and a coward and would be dismissed from that point on anyway. So that did make sense why that guy was so hostile. I wish they replaced... Um, Blair was good. I think they should have replaced uh, Saxon with Blair. Because that guy gets introduced into the story immediately hates you for no real reason i mean he has duty right but he went beyond his duty to try and kill you it did not actually make sense why he was so angry with you uh if it was blair instead it would make complete sense he would take his units outside his combat area to try and kill you because he knows that if you rescue um the major he his life would be over I'm just saying, as a bit of a correlation for the story, that I thought it made a lot more sense. I must admit as well, I'll go through everything. I'm going to go through. This is going to be a bit of a run. If you guys want to know my entire thoughts, feel free to listen to this bit for the like, next like five minutes. Uh, as for the other bit, of the founders with actual betraying you at the end. I must admit, I wish there was more background on that because it was a bit confusing. Um, I understand originally that he was like, "Oh, you were betrayed by this guy." I understand he he lied to you and stuff, and then he just becomes hostile. He's quite clearly hostile throughout that entire final mission. He does not like you. And he, then he betrays you at the end. But there's not really any explanation on why. I don't understand. I mean, we kept talking back to him, which I understand is a problem. But shouldn't really be in the military. If there's, you've got a question with your officer, you should be able to do the question, right? Um, but yeah, he just, he just seems to roundly become hostile. He's Maybe he's a bit two-faced. Maybe he has like a, a secret personality. He doesn't actually say whatever he needs. And he just betrays you. I wish that was more fleshed out. I hope that there will be some more explanation in the future about why he was doing that. Maybe he's a robot. Maybe he's like a different robot faction that wanted to get the information off uh, Legion. Maybe a Skynet or something. I don't know. But it does seem very weird to me. It honestly did seem a bit strange. Um, as for the choice in the game, I, I liked it. I, at the start, you had a lot of different choices. I feel like the, the original missions at the start were a lot more fleshed out. The choice between like the movement and the bandits, uh, helping integrators, helping the cartel. Oh, you, you couldn't really help the cartel, but you know what I mean. There's a lot more choices. I think at the start there was a lot of different ways of doing the same mission. Okay, cool. Sorry about that. <laughs> I have a thing where if I go AFK in my PC for three minutes, like using my PC's resources, it starts doing research, which is a bit fun. But it's something I like doing with my spare PC resource while not using it. Anyway, yeah. So I don't a lot of choice at the start of the game. I wish there was um, more interaction with different factions. Maybe completely going over different sides, like maybe. A abandoning the uh, foundation early on maybe going to like join the enemy factions actually i didn't go down the bandit routes maybe that is a possibility i might just miss that part of the game but because like it was weird that in my playthrough i did not interact with balzano at all in the first mission you meet him in he just randomly leaves after the enemy show up he gives you a bad message and that's it he's gone but then later on he reappears like five or six hours down the line and he's like talking to you like he's your nemesis but i never even talked to the guy in game I thought that was a bit strange. So I feel like there was a lot of uh, story events that went on, but some of them didn't really connect up that well. So maybe they should look into having a bit more timelines when it comes to the game if they do more DLC, because I feel like it's a bit disjointed with a lot of the story at some points, because it was a bit random. But um, yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. I, I, I really did like it. I personally, if there was a DLC, I wish they would work on a different type of DLC. I do like story games, don't get me wrong, but I feel like having a mode where you like go around an open map with your army trying to take over, like, recapture the uh, Amer American state. 
That would be really fun, I think. But I like strategy games. I can't help myself. I love strategy. If there was some kind of, like, open world, like, you're moving your troops between different factions and everyone's fighting each other on a big map, that would be amazing. I would absolutely adore that. I must I must admit. Maybe look into a game called... Um, this is developers. Uh, I played it last year. Ultimate General American Revolution. They have, like, a real-time campaign map as well as real-time battles maybe have a something like that on a big campaign map i think the game would sell really really well if you tried that but if you want to do story that's kind of as well anyway on to what i was doing with the actual movement around the map i liked having persistent units i thought that was really cool i did thought it was a bit limited on the amount of resources i could use so i understand that after i stopped after i was playing for a while that a death post came out saying use this resources at this point of the game if you run out of resources and you couldn't carry on you flat out lost the game you could not progress anymore i didn't get to that point myself but i could get pretty close i feel like that was an interesting system but honestly a bit limiting i also understand that after i played this on the lower level difficulties they actually reduce supply consumption so it's more fun so maybe that's something they would didn't realize at the start maybe it was a bit too harsh for a lot of people um, I do think it was a bit too harsh because there's a lot of upgrades in the game and you just couldn't get them unless you went through the game perfectly with hindsight which then you would know you had to go and sell the Sherman to the integrators you had to go and get this for the integrated there's a lot of different things you would learn um, as for the actual weapons and upgrades I thought that was a really good system I liked how they changed the graphics on the vehicles I thought that was amazing I wish they would change the graphics of like skills as well like if you give exoskeletons to like the javelins they should get exoskeletons I know they have them already, but they should be put on, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Uh, I thought that was a really cool system. I like level ups as well. That was fun. A lot of the skills weren't very useful, though. They should probably have some more skill variety. I would say definitely for, like, for instance, like Big Bob and stuff. He had, uh, what was it, movement speed, uh, supply consumption, and rate of fire. That was it. The other skills were grenades and smoke grenades. It doesn't make any sense. They should be more specific skills for the different units and maybe make some really powerful skills which just cost a ton of goodwill points maybe big bob has an accuracy increaser or something so like he gets like 20 percent better accuracy but it costs like a thousand supplies something that would actually cost a lot to put onto your unit but it would be worth it if it's your main characters um so i thought that was something i would recommend there the shop system is really cool i like that uh though of course i didn't get to use it much of my systems i had i will say i didn't like too much this distance between missions with the supply consumption i would have handled that a bit differently i felt like it was i was on the edge of losing at every point and you have to be very careful with the resource you have perhaps i would recommend i understand at one point i asked in the comments oh what's the difference between this place and this place it was like five days in game but in reality it was a three hour drive people then saying oh you're a fool fret x of course it takes five days there's enemies everywhere I understand that point. Fair enough. Let me do a combat drive to the enemy then. Next mission, go in combat stance. Maybe it spawns in a random skirmish mission. Because I know you guys got skirmish AI. You have a skirmish mission with your army. It reduces the time to get to points. And you can actually fight your way through getting more experience. The danger, of course, is that it's persistent, right? So then you wear down your units and your supplies for the major mission. Something I would just point out there quickly. Uh, I would like to see that in the future. Okay, anyway. I... As for the actual combat itself, I did enjoy it. I feel like the realistic mode inventory was vastly too squidgy. It would be better if there was better line of sight. Uh, line of sight was a bit chaotic for me. Sometimes vehicles just had exactly the same line of sight as inventory. So, like, you couldn't get ambushed on people. I know you can hide inside buildings, but sometimes it just didn't, just didn't work very well. Or, most times, the units were not in the correct position for the enemy. Maybe what you could do is you just don't have a setup time if you're in a building already for like the ATGMs and stuff. Maybe because they could put it on the windowsill and just fire off or something. I don't know, but it just seemed like a lot of the times when enemies showed up, my javelin guy decided to go on a walk across the other window for no reason, even though I particularly told him to go to that front-facing part of the building already. There were some issues with that for sure. I, I had a lot of issues of entry at the start of the game. And I feel like it could be a lot better with just the pathfinding, the building, garrison system. And just the line of sight seeing people. And maybe like for instance have snipers be and have like long range of sight so they can snipe uh, see people from miles away. I think they do have a better line of sight but it's not that good. 
I like a lot of the time there, the only way I could see the enemy was using the helicopter to look over the top of me so I can see further away, even though I should have been able to see the enemies in front of me. Anyway, so yeah, that was interesting. The um, damage system I thought was pretty cool. Very hard on realistic mode. A single spider can instant pop a Bradley if it got enough shots on the hot side of the hole, maybe in the front of the hole. Uh, which I guess is okay. I mean, um, it's a big thing with a big gun, right? But I did feel like it was a very random experience. Especially with the damage on missiles and tanks and stuff. I mean, like, sometimes I would just sit there and I would witness a tank. Well, sometimes at the end, though, I had five tanks shooting at a single spider. It would take seven shots to kill it. Not because it's hitting it, because it's six of them miss and the last one hits it. Very inconsistent. <laughs> and this is, by the way, at this point, these are max level units. So they were all very good at their jobs. They just were not hitting very well at all. Uh, same thing as well, missiles. Tow missiles seem to have like a 50% miss rate. And the damage is very inconsistent as well. I had situations where it took 10 plus tow launches on a tank hole to blow one up. It was very crazy. Uh, and then sometimes it takes two. So like I said, the damage is very inconsistent with that, with the actual hit chance and the damage. I think it just needs, things need to be brought more into less RNG and more consistent. I mean, I do not think tow launches and missiles are that bad in real life. If they were, I didn't think we would be using them in combat. We would be using something else. So I feel like actually new work needs to be done on that to make it a bit more consistent. Um, what else can I say? Mission design. I did like all the choices in the missions, though I must admit I was not a fan at the end at all of the infinite spawn mechanic. This is meant to be a real-time tactic game. In my opinion, that means the enemy should have limited resources, and so should you. I mean, if they are given a giant, like, battalion or something at the end of the mission, that's fine. Like, make that clear, though. They spawn with tw they can have 20 tanks they can spawn or something. That's fine. But that last mission, I killed the artillery two or three times. I killed, like, a good 10, 20 tanks. Didn't matter. Continually respawning again and again. I feel like it took away a lot. As well as, the, I'm talking about the last mission here, but also with like the cartels missions. There's not going to be hundreds of cartel guys coming from the spawn every five minutes, no. I think there should be less emphasis on infinite spawns and guys coming from the edge of the map. And more emphasis on just having better AI, tacticals, awareness, and maybe push up as a group. Because a lot of the pathfinding was just going from point to point. Um, I mean, like, but of course, the last game like this I played was stuff like, um, what would be called, like, regiments. I didn't play Broken Arrow, but I will. Games like Broken Arrow, uh, games like Warno, Still Division. There is a limit on the amount of enemies that there are, but they can still have a lot of them. They just have a bigger reserve than you, and they can call them in whenever they want to. Okay, uh, apart from that, I think I would give this game an 8 out of 10. I don't normally do reviews, I'm not a reviewer, but my current I, I enjoyed it. Like I said, there were some issues with mostly frustrations with the missiles, hit rate and spawn rate of enemies as well as frustrations with the campaign map getting from point to point but i thought the game is brilliant apart from that i look forward to future dlc and uh, i hope that everyone has enjoyed this series i do apologize if i got a bit annoyed at the end of this video i will cut most of that out <laughs> but uh, guys i'm recording this now at 9 p.m at night I've been doing this since 1, a, uh, 1 p.m. It's been a long day for me. And i got to edit it all as well. So, um, yeah, I wasn't expecting this to take that long to finish the game, but it is what it is. Apart from that, thank you for uh, giving me a key, Sliverin. I enjoyed my time here. I hope everyone has enjoyed the series, watching me play through it. And next time, if there's a realistic mode DLC, my God, hopefully there's nothing else out because I had to probably delay doing it <laughs> until I have the time because it took a long, long time. Could have probably finished this game in 20 hours or so if I did played it on the normal mode, but it is what it is. But then, everybody, thank you for watching. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.